And again, to invoke the opportunity, the presence of the Kabis, the Arabi Dr. Rabiji, partly because of the, you know, the government speech he made. These are very profound theoretical issues. He had really softened the ground by talking theoretically on the interplay between religion and, the, and peace in yeah, Nigeria. Yeah. I tend to remember that he, he spoke, he spoke to Rai, you know, Kurali and the Prophet. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk on the, the place of uh, personal religion in fostering uh, peace, security, and understanding with the two that constitute the panel. And that is the best way of the people after that, you know. And the president of uh, Strasbourg. Uh, and then we have met, and then we decided that yeah, we have to partner our discussion. There are six, seven issues that I want to talk about. The first one is on the introduction, then the second one is the basis for the religion and uh, peace. And then is the centrality of traditional religion, the peace. And uh, again, we want to look at the impact of this topic on the peace and uh, Then we talk about lessons from the past, uh, this was on peace and security. And lastly, we want to look at the you know, approaches, national religious approaches towards fostering the peace and security. And lastly, conclusion. Yeah, as I'm standing here, I'm going to talk on the first thing. That is the introduction, then is uh, the instrumentality of religion and the uh, humanity. And that's the original thing. And I will talk on the centrality of the technology. And then, Dr. Seda will talk on the main form. And then, the brother, he knows more than I do. So I gave him form, and I took first. Yes? Uh, I will have a question too. And we will agree that the state of the technology in Nigeria is very abandoned. And as we are saying now, it becomes very obvious to say that there is no other decade in Nigeria that has proposed. There is no other decade in Nigeria. That has provoked a bigger insecurity than the present uh, situation, than what we have been witnessing between the present and the present time. So it is very, very alarming for you to remain very fragile. Make everybody in the same suspicious of one another. As we are sitting down here now, people will be feeling, you know, sense of insecurity. People get to the fact that we have a full range of insecurity in our show. But simply because of that, we have a lot of information about insecurity. And everybody deals with perpetual insecurity. So, not less of an interethnic relationship. Religious worship also has been a very sense of insecurity. That in some churches, in some mosques, even in some traditional uh, worshiping centers, they won't even want to uh, you know, install you know, uh, uh, better prayer in the churches because it's going to be a level of insecurity. And then it can help public. So they are saying that you know, a lot of money has been expended, a lot of fear about the government has been exercised. You know, government also becomes very, you know, very, 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 very weak. And international relations, international relations of Nigeria becomes very dangerous. So they are saying that you know, largely many people across the world, across the world, now they are coming to Nigeria. So what are we talking about? The science here is just that. Different forms of insecurity are created up. And we have, you know, a number of accounts of insecurity. The first one is inter-labor crisis, especially in the United States of the U. So they're saying that many people fear are going to take a uh, coffee at the park again. Because we cannot even predict when such will happen. It's happening about us. If they go there, they go and also go there, you know, and several other places. We also have, uh, you know, in ethnic crisis. You know, the pastors in Lagos, you know, the pastors in Pulani that has become incessant. You know, the pastors in Aousa that has also become, you know, incessant in Jabode, in Shagam, and several other places. Then, three pastors to go, you know, in the central Nigeria. There are several types of domestic violence, which has become the rate of women now. White kids, they also, also killing white kids. You know, instead, father sleeping with children of the age. You know, very alarming. So then again, we also have the social leadership, leadership and succession council, as it has happened in several universities. When there's going to be a change of regime, you see them, you know, 
engaging in this period of violence, you know, this has become very critical. Then we also have a tension study. You know, changing of the ownership has also resulted into fact in many places. And these are things that are, that, that, that will never happen before. And so gangsterism, street gangsterism, some robbery, banditry, you know, separatist movement like Boko uh, Haram, you know, that has become intractable all over the time. Then several violent uh, pro uh, prosta, you know, internet prosta, and several others have actually happened in the society. And so this has actually put government on a very serious challenge, very, very serious challenge. And the government is not actually in this time. So, and there are so many approaches government have uh, used. Now, the first one is also okay, thinking about a regime change. Of course, the regime of uh, the two and a half regime, I mean, the step, the step, the two and a half second time. And the two and a half time of uh, uh, you know, Jonathan was adopted simply because of the state of history. The major issue that was used to campaign against uh, Jonathan was this story. And so that's what we now. And again, a lot of regime change on the on the on the historic edge of Nigeria. Give of one staff change, maybe I mean police inspector general change right here. So and so these are not actually reduce the tempo of this story. Then we also have the fact of money spent on wear, that is rich wear. Of, of course, as, as we are speaking now, almost about uh, three, three, I mean, uh, 200, 200, 200, 200 million, uh, 200 billion dollars have been expended. Yeah, you check the, I mean, the, the record. More than 200 billion dollars have been expended on different and rich wear, you know, to actually arrest this story. Again, there is also help of the social intervention scheme, which government has done to reform poverty. Yeah, to, to, to put, I mean, to remove people, I mean, the street children who are on the street, to put, I mean, and then to put them to express partnership. So, all this has been done. And so, there was also a kind of, uh, you know, a uh, 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 cooperative, uh, you know, attempt with the foreign government, you know, seeking for the, uh, for the, for the, for the support of foreign government. To actually support it. But above all, this has not really worked. Uh, what we hear, what we see data is just a new brand of the you know, security economy, especially kidnapping. And now we have the ritual killings that are also come, you know, which were not as anonymous as before, you know, as we have done. So I know this now suggests that yes, definitely the mechanistic approach used by government has failed. So we have to move elsewhere. And I think that is the intention of the Center for the Black Cultural and National Understanding for looking at religion as a possible way of campaigning on insecurity in Nigeria. And at that level, I still stand to congratulate the CPCI for looking at that. Simply because of the fact that literature have also come to really tell us that yes, there is still for us to look at a community approach in solving this environmental problem. That community approach is not that. Issues and challenges are to be handled by the approximate, you know, contact we have. And so the approximate contact we have to solve this fundamental problem, they are three. One, the community where you are resident. Two, the family system. And the third one is what? Religion. Because there is no one that does not belong to one of these three simultaneously. If you are Christian, you come from the family. If you are Christian, you come from the community. And so, the approach here is just that we have to look at it from a humanistic point of view. That, yes, certainly, we need to look at it from a humanistic point of view. That, who are my neighbor? Do I need to prefer and to, to preserve the life of my neighbor? Do I need to assault my neighbor? Do I need to go and damage the life of my neighbor? And that is why I'm highly enthused with the open speech of the chairman and the board. He made us to believe that one thing runs in our face, and that is humanity. And so we have to protect that humanity across the world. And on this note, I feel that yes, we can actually talk on the theorization of religion because we first of all need to understand what religion is and how religion was invented and how we came into living with religion. Of course, when we talk about religion, we are talking about a, a cultural system that has been invented by man. Religion is a human creation. Either you like it or not, it's a human creation. And it was said to have been created around 2.5 million years ago. Make with and homily, which we call the Hander Tower. The Hander Tower was very successful in actually establishing a lot of interventions, creating a lot of interventions, including the fire we use now. You know, 
He established the intended use of fire. He saw the sun. He also he also identified with you know invention of technology that was far better than the technology used for security and conflict before. Before that, and so the intention of the other time is just okay. He was looking at okay, what are those institutions that could be created for maintaining organic solidarity in the and maintaining peace and security in the society? And so he invented that. And since then, Britain has become, you know, household name. So let's say that today we have a close to 2,750 religions, 2,750 different religions across the world. Not only the Christianity, not only the Hindu, not only the Islam, not only traditional religion, of course. We have plural religion activities in national religion, which, which is good as one. Well. So there are several of them. Three minutes. Thank you. So, and so, uh, of course, we when we look at the scholars of the religion, right from the earliest scholars who are actually participated in religion, Karmas, Emily okay, and the rest of the separatist uh, story, there are six them. At which a religion has been identified as the instrumentality of man. The first one is that at the level of a psychological balance. Of course, when we meet them, we have anxiety in ourselves. And then you go to pastor, or you go to the man, or you go to Kabbalah, and he prays for you. He tells you, even when you know that the problem is still there, he tells you to press the body. Because you take yourself that you belong to God and very close to God at that level. So, and you know that God that brings everything, and God that has actually given you your prayer, you have been so, a, a sort of problem. So, psychologically. So, when you do, when you have, when, 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 when you practice with you, then it's, a, it's an intention to reduce uh, psychological impact. Then again, like that is also said, materialistic concern. That will force you to get money, to get positions, to get status. Yeah, to get status. In fact, today, it's been that the purpose of many status. The status has been elevated. Small, the status has been elevated. Simply because he has proposed a religion. Then, Pope, how about that? Pope is like the president of the country. Yeah, he's like the president of the country. You know, he has that nationalistic intention. And again, we also talk about the group solidarity. Of course, that is also said, the first of the country he made there was that Muslims sat down one way. Christians sat down one way, and then I don't know if it was fast sat down. So, groups will die. I won't laugh, actually, uh, we'll put it that. So, because maybe when people are coming in, you see the people who look like Muslim, and then you have to sit down with them. Then you, look, you see people who look like Christian, and you also have to sit down with them because you see four colors. And so, I will see people who are wearing pink, and that's what, yeah, that's what they yeah. Groups will die. And again, too, yeah, so let's take those. We believe that whatever you believe, our judgment you believe, against the people of man, God is going to judge. Yeah, God is going to judge. That is the principle of social justice, the principle of fairness, and the principle of equity. Even in, the, in, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our modern court system, that God is going to judge. And so, again, we talk about presidentialism. Of course, that people say that the moment human being does not die again, the moment you know that yes, there can be a pill, you take you take a pill upon the bed, and then you give the standards, and you are not going to die. That is the end of it. But the only place, the only thing we know as no crap is death. Because we don't fear when we are going to die. We don't fear the type of death we want to die, which we don't know. We don't fear where we are going after death, which we don't know. And as a result of that, we preach to God that God knows when I'm going to die. God knows what type of death I'm going to have. God knows where I'm going to work before my death. And so then we put where to please God so that God will favor me with God. And so, in all this, what the Lord said is that churches of religion have only also emphasized that oneness of humanity. Oneness of humanity. That is very important. Oneness of humanity. And so, at this level, we need to look at the centrality of the traditional religion. You know, centrality of traditional religion. Uh, of course, I also talk about only five uh, 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 perspectives to establish that centrality of traditional religion. The first one is sacredness. That is, sorry. The first one is a sacredness. The traditional religion believes that we are religion 
to South Africa. Because we think of him, we forget. And then we believe that, yes, we don't worry, or God, or Yahweh, he's dead. But not. But African traditional religion makes its own challenges to be very, very, very potent. Because it is not flexible. If you do something contrary to the will of Shabu or Ogo, it's not judgment is coming. It's not that you are waiting for the day of judgment, which nobody knows. So we don't use that to actually perpetrate issues. So sacrifice is very, 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 very good. And the second one is a non-evangelism. After the national religion does not actually preach that to come and join them. See me, see my ecumenical advice opportunity. See what I do that become very good to you to come and adopt me. There's no evangelism. They don't go out and say, yes, we are. No, 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 no. People in the temple, no preaching that people should come and join them. They respect the, 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 the religiosity of order, the belief of order, and they don't even attract opposition to come and join them. Because they believe that religion is permanent. It is you and your God. There is no need of intervening in the belief and perception of order. Then, third, they do linguistic conformity. We call it indigenous religion. And the, the, the religion uses the language that is admissible. If they are chanting the fact that they are chanting the fact that you yourself, who is not an impact, you understand what they are saying. Because it is the rendition is in local language. And the best language to actually attack me to solve peace and to solve security, I mean security, is when you use the local language at this point. And that's why they say where God sees God begins. We are God. See, you cannot commit to things. That is why when you see a scanner, you say, stand up there. You say, why, 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 or I use a good language that is the one who loves it, and then you start to stop. The translation is not actually going in that. Simply because of that, they use a language like this. And the basis of communication in translation is a deep Yoruba understanding. And I believe Dr. Abdullah was a particular. When you see a chanting, it matters. What would you want to be? What would you want to be? So you can't bring something bad to the I want to believe that whatever you want to be, I'm not going to talk to you. He said, No, come on. There's no talk to you. And that's the, we talk about the price and the performance. Yes, like I said, there are a large number of the personal people which are actually good to the world. Simply because one of them believe that, yes, they, they are directed to good to marry. And so, people just like that difference. So, you have to go to the world, you have to go to the world, you have to go to the world, you have to go to the world. But yet, yeah, is this citizens as one? They come together as one. And so that is the basis for which religious tolerance and the laws of the universal society. You see a family in life has a Christian Muslim. And I said, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out.